Three people will spend the night in the hospital after a 30-foot RV lost control and barreled through a busy intersection. Megan Schiller, live tonight in the West End, where it all happened. Megan. It's amazing that everyone survived this crash. The most start shocking thing is that the passenger seat of the RV is still here, fully intact. And if you walk around all of this debris that is now roped off with police tape, you can see the cinder block wall that the RV went crashing through. John Westgard stares down in his bloodied hands just minutes after he pulled a man and a woman from this crushed RV. My dad and I both hopped out of the car, bolted over there and um, heard some yelling. There, there was like leaking gas and everything. The RV clipped their car and crashed into two others before blasting through this building's cinder block wall. Westgard and his dad said the driver kept honking his horn like he lost his brakes. Sitting here at the light, we were ne or at the stop sign, we were the next ones to go and heard this horn and like what and then boom smash crash and it hit that silver car and went on into the building there's like whoa so we jumped out of the car and and my boy and I ran over there and tried to rip the door off the other drivers involved tell KDKA the car shot straight through the intersection on Green Tree Road really loud real loud like almost like a bomb the RV tail swiped this red Nissan and crushed into the gray car's back end before it clipped Denise Serban's green Mercedes. Thank God no one was killed. Um, it could have been a much, much, much worse. But the, the other three people, the two people in the camper and the gentleman in the silver car were all taken to the hospital. The driver in the gray car plus the two inside the RV all wound up in the hospital now in stable condition. Larray Bell saw the whole thing and can't believe the people lived. He was just flying. Once he took the stop sign, like he just flew. I thought I didn't think he was going to make it. I, I thought he was going to flip. First responders also got and a dog from the rubble thrown from the RV at the time of impact. The pets are doing okay, and the cause of the crash is still under investigation. And the RV tonight now looks like a leaning tower of debris. We asked the tow company that was here on scene tonight if they were going to be pulling this away. They said they're going to bring in a dumpster and throw all of this away. They say it's unsafe for them to try to move it. We are live tonight in the West End. Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.